Hey, welcome. This is Leah Bales with the Miracle Makers Mindset Monday. Today's Miracle Maker Mindset Nugget is create your own positive vision for aging. Today is my birthday. Yay! <laughs> and I was about to do this video on something different, a different mindset. And then I thought, wow, I'd like to do it on aging and on creating a positive vision for aging. Because in our culture, we are surrounded with so many negative stories and ideas and advertisings about what it means to get older. You know, I think of there being this myth of inevitable decline that we get to some point, and for some people, it's really early in their minds, 30, 40, 50, and from there on, it's just this downward slope to the end. And honestly, I realized a few years ago, I had some of that mindset too. And I realized it was making me not look forward to the rest of my life as much as I want to. So the way that you think about aging has an extraordinary impact on your health, your choices, your outlook, and what you see in the world. So if you have the idea that aging is a really negative thing and people who age are going to get boring or they're going to get um, whatever you might have in your mind, they're going to be ineffective, they're going to be weak. As you get older, that's kind of what you're imagining for yourself. A great way, two big things I'm going to give you to work with with this. The first one is to notice kindly negative messages that come from inside you or from the culture from around you. Whenever anybody says, oh, well, that's just the way it is. It's just getting older. And it's negative stuff. Notice that. And notice it doesn't have to be a reality. The beliefs, the stories around become real when you hold them and repeat them and own them. You can just let them go through like, hmm, well, that's interesting. That's interesting that person would say that. That's interesting that would come up inside me and be kind with yourself about it. And then, this is the really fun part, is to start looking for people who are older than you, who embody and live with the qualities that you would like to have. I've done this a lot with myself and my clients whenever we start getting into that negative downward spiral about aging. And we just begin looking for people around us who have the qualities we're looking for. You want to be more vibrant. You want to be interested. You want to be healthy and strong and alert and smart. You know, all those things engaged, making a difference in the world, a positive difference. Look for people who do those things. And I promise you, you will find them. Now, if you're in that mode of like, no, I'm not going to find them. I won't look for it. Of course, it won't work. But if you give it a try, you start looking for people five years, 10 years, 20 years, 30 years older than you who are living and embodying the qualities that you want to see in your life, then you'll begin noticing it. Your brain will start looking for it. That reticular activating system of your brain looks for what you tell it to look for. So if you look for evidence that aging is going to be a really horrible downward spiral, downward slope, you will find it everywhere. And if you look for signs that other people, much older, a little older than you, are living vibrant, healthy, fabulous lives, you will find that. You'll find it in the news. You'll find it places, sites. You'll find people around you, people in your family, other people around. Look for the qualities you admire and the qualities you would like to have as you get older, and you will find them. There are people older than you who are running marathons, who are weightlifting, who are getting in fabulous shape, even if they haven't been in fabulous shape. There are people who are reversing symptoms and reversing signs, quote, inevitable signs of aging. People who are doing that. People who are choosing to get involved in their community and make a powerful impact. People who are engaged and vibrant and beautiful and healthy. Look for the things you're interested in having in your life and you will find them. And then you can begin like seeding yourself with it. What do you need to do? What can you do to be helping that become a reality? If you want to be strong and healthy five years, 10 years from now, what are you doing today that helps you do that? 
if you want to make a positive impact in the world, what are you doing today that helps you do that now and into the future? Look for the things in the world that you want to create. Look for the people in the world who are living in a way that you admire, even though they're older than you are. Look for the qualities you want to embody in other people and know that you can bring those into your life also. Thanks so much. And maybe it's your birthday today. If it is, happy birthday. If not, just happy, happy day to you. Celebrate this life you are given. And thanks for being here. See you next week.